The Spirituality Now podcast is sponsored by Delaflor Teachings International, a spiritual and systemic coaching and consulting company with the mission to help individuals, businesses, and corporations create brilliant futures through sustainable transformation. Also sponsored by the Network for Human Empowerment, a philanthropic TV network that serves Spanish-speaking communities with free, conscious education aimed to empower individuals to become the best versions of themselves. And our podcast producer, Ascend Media, Authority Syndication, delivering premium video marketing, podcast production, and social syndication. the Spirituality Now podcast, a podcast committed to supporting you in your journey to life mastery and personal enlightenment. Welcome to the Spirituality Now podcast. I am your host, Yvonne de la Flor, and today I have such a beautiful guest with us, an entrepreneur, a business, I want to say business maven, but I also feel that she uh, is, is one of the powerful women that I have met that is driven by spirit. And uh, we share a couple of mentors, I believe at least two and coaches together. And I'm going to just get into the, to the groove to introduce her to you. No more announcements, nothing else, because I truly believe that her, um, her success story, not only in business, but in isness, in being who she is, in being who, who she fully came here to be in order to succeed in life, in business, in finances, in, in representing herself in the world, I think is very important. And this is a true spirituality that is needed in the world. Her name is Susan Baishel, designer and entrepreneur. She founded the luxury brand Skin in 2003. Listen to the dates, beloved, 2003. Since then, she has successfully built the company into a global lifestyle brand, encompassing lingerie, accessories, and clothing. Skin is widely recognized for the use of soft, natural fabrics, organic cotton materials, and sophisticated, versatile silhouettes. I just tore their mind. I just told their man, I'm going to talk to her about that. Susan grew up in Wisconsin. My boyfriend is from there. Surrounded, uh, yeah, surrounded by the natural environment, giving her roots in nature and an appreciation for pure natural beauty. And you can see it in her designs. We'll talk about this. Although her roots are in nature, her spirit branches out over the globe. She earned a bachelor's degree in retail, business bachelor's, I believe, in retail management at the University of Wisconsin at Madison and graduated with honors. Of course, I mean, why am I not surprised? As an all-American athlete on scholarship, she went on to earn an MBA in entrepreneurship from the Kelstadt School of Business at the Paul University of Chicago, where, where one of our mentors resides. Mm -hmm. And that determination and commitment to excellence it's, it's, she's like next level of excellence. Actually, another of our coaches, she's excellence uh, and winning on repeat. Um, excellence is evident in her work, season after season with collections that marry. I love this. I, I wanted to say this, Susan, that marry function, luxury, and adaptability. Can you imagine if this was for relationships? Anyways, drawing inspiration from the natural world, the collection appeals to the senses with comfortable locks, fabrics, and refined lines. Um, skin, her company truly addresses the body by incorporating items that can be worn to sleep, to lunch, and to go from day to night. And actually that helps women feel confident about themselves. I'm telling you, this, this is an amazing, amazing brand. Um, and I love this phrase that Susan says. She says, we lead such hectic and busy lives. And she wants to offer the world a soothing palette of clothing to comfort and cocoon. 
24-7, no matter what the endeavor. Because she believes that our skin is the largest, well, it's, she believes, and it's true, our, our skin is the largest organ of the body, and we should address it with luxurious fabrics every day, giving us a platform to feel comfortable, to live our best lives. Susan, my ally, my friend, and literally a role model of business for me. Welcome, love. Wow, that was quite an introduction, <laughs> Yvonne. Thank you so much. And I really appreciated hearing that. And and I had a thought when mm. you said, I draw upon the natural world, which is true for the designs I look around. But the whole point of being with you tonight is to draw upon the supernatural world. <laughs> and I realized, yeah. oh, I'm, I need to add that in to my biography, I think. Yes. It's and really, well, yeah, it's we're about really, to add it. <laughs> yeah, something important to me. Yeah, and we're about to add it because I can feel it. I feel you and I connected, you know, first. Mm -hmm. uh, we connected with Danielle Delgado, who she's just extraordinary soul, you know, she's wearing a couple of, well, I think you're in one, a couple of her, you know, uh, mentorships, mm -hmm. but uh, also with the one and only Mr. Tim Grover. Right. right? Uh, and we connected, but there was something when I met you, you know, energy doesn't lie. Mm. It's like, Good quality clothing, good quality anything, excellence, just like energy, it cannot lie. And we, I believe we felt connected and we were supporting of each other, you know, cheering on each other. I really felt super ecstatic just by meeting you. I didn't know what you did. I didn't know about your business. Obviously, then when I knew, like, she's the creator of skin, you know, it's like, wow, how, how incredible because Whoever feels good in their skin, which I think is a little proponent of yours, and all, and be bees, uh, and and it's how do I say it? And it's courageous enough to be who one fully is and feels comfortable in that. That's the highest, highest uh, spiritual revelation we can have. So, mm -hmm. Susan, to begin with, you know, uh, where does where, where does Susan begins? Who's Susan? What, how was your childhood? Like, and obviously you cannot meet anything you don't want because you are such a solid spiritual business. You've integrated all those aspects, right? In your brand, in your business, in who you are. So how was a little bit, tell me about your childhood in Wisconsin, just because Wisconsin is close to my heart because of my boyfriend and all of that. I feel it a very spiritual oh, connection wow. right there. So that, please let that's me such a simple question, but no one has asked me that question mm. in this context. And and what would I say in this context about our topic tonight about my childhood? That is a big subject. Well, oh my goodness! Well, just I, like, I would like, have to yeah. say, yeah, that I I just grew up. It was like I was a little seed planted in a farm because I grew up in a small town of 1300 people where everyone knew everyone and it was farmland and farmers and being a little seed in the soil there was the experience of of sort of this pure like naive i would say upbringing where i didn't have the outside world, the distraction, I didn't even know anything. Like I didn't know different religions. I didn't know gay from straight. I, I didn't know anything. And therefore I felt like growing up in that sort of void made me and my parents a non-prejudiced, non-judging kind of person, if that makes sense, because I never experienced or witnessed anything from different types of people, colors, races, whatever, that would cause me to have a judgment. So I just looked at everybody kind of equally. And that pure sense of spirit also allowed me to wake up every day with a natural innate sense of gratefulness. Like 
I've had, I've carried this whole spirit with me my entire life where no matter what tragedies or hardships or difficulties, and I've had them, we've all had them, but no matter what's going on, I'm able to just pop up in the morning and greet the sun and say hello to the world. Like nature, the the earth is such a part of who I am and how I grew up that it it's nourished me and carried me through what at whatever hardship as I said I could have experienced and it as a child you don't really know that that's spirituality in fact going to Sunday school I I distinctly remember when I was 6 years old in Sunday school, I asked the teacher, I said, but it's not fair. I don't understand. You mean the little boy in Africa who doesn't know who Jesus is, he's never had the opportunity to hear about Jesus. You mean he's going to go to hell because he's never even heard of Jesus? You know, I knew at six years old that that wasn't right. So I knew spirituality and religion were two different things. I knew there was a connection I felt to something larger, um, the earth, of course, and the examples from my parents when they didn't even know they were setting an example because they certainly had no clue about parenting. And I was the last child, so I got the least attention. Wow. Um, so I, I learned just by watching their behavior what was right or wrong. They never had time to teach me or tell me, but I could sense, like you said when we began, what energy, you can feel the energy. You know when you're doing something right. You have this moral compass inside of you and your parents... Mm, like I said, whether they verbalized it or not, you just knew. And I think, I mean, this we're pro I'm probably going way far away from what you're asking, but I feel like it should be said that I think we're all born with it. And then the world gets a hold of us and we forget that we had a choice and we could make a decision based on that internal moral compass or connection to source that we're born with. Do you wow. agree? Do you think Su that's Susan, true? Susan, you know, I always ask my questions being guided, right? Being guided. I feel a hunch. I, I trust my God. And you're the first person in all the podcasts uh, that I've done an interview that I ask about their childhood. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I've done work for more than 20 years on something called family constellations, childhood mm -hmm. trauma, trauma integration, and, uh, and take it into a futuring way where we can actually, from the trauma, you know, earn our, it's called Dharma, from the, from the pain, earn our gold. And you are such a beautiful spiritual representation of this you just gave like as you were sharing you know the pure naivete how you were raised that you were a mm -hmm. seed planted in a farm i love this because businesses the world relationships it's a field where we will plant seeds mm -hmm. everything that surrounds us is a white canvas of creation and i think you were you were all the things how you say i was raised with no no prejudice and you I can see that in you. I could feel that. I could feel even in your brand, skins, mm. you know, what you sell. I don't even think white, uh, brown, tall, small, big, skinny, not skinny. I don't. Mm. The component of the essence of, of your foundations and this moral compass that you were able to find by the power of your faith it is so powerful. I had a mentor uh, who passed many years ago. His name was, um, uh, he still is because he's teaching Stephen Covey. And he yes. said to me, uh -huh, he said to me, Yvonne, don't worry about authority or power. Focus 
on moral authority. Focus on developing and strengthening that moral compass inside of you. Mm -hmm. And once you find it, you will know what to do.